Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Rail Route Let's Play series. Last time we unlocked a load of things and got our first bunch of red experience. And here we are with our little starting network. Now today I'd like to try and get more red experience, but instead of having one-off contracts, I would like to start to use the new coach house which we got. So we're going to try and do that today. Now we're going to be getting contracts in. I'm going to just start declining anything which isn't for our station. I'll decline anything that's like 1,000, maybe 2,000 credits. Unless it's a coach yard one, which that one is. So I might consider it. One off freights we're not going to do for now. We're going to concentrate on the coach yard. And here we've got two options to go from Bridgeton up to Cumbern. Cumber Nord Lord Nord Lord still not so sure how to say that somebody down in the comments please put it in phonetically so I can get it right so we've got two options there we'll decline one of them and this is the contract we're going to start with today didn't know that contract was there but uh, decline the freight and we're just going to keep the network running until we've got a good opportunity in the in the timetable here and looking at the timetable we have got oh hang on there's a freight here I'm not really interested in running that freight service at the moment. Just gets in the way of my real money making schemes. Can we de decline the contract? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, we'll reject that. It comes off the timetable. This train here that arrives way too close to that one, we might reject that one and get a different one in its place. But for now, I'm relatively happy with this. So we've got room for two new services in here, I think. We need to try and keep these on the 10 minute or on the 5 minute marks rather than all over the place. So very soon, after the next train, I think, we'll be able to accept this new contract. So let's just make sure that we are clicking through correctly to approve all these movements. See, look, these two are slightly out of sync, so that train had to wait for a moment there. And to be honest, that's just not on. So, we can have a train at 14... Uh, 14.15. So, we'll get rid of that. We're not interested in that. We're not interested in the one-off freights right now, thank you. Uh, or this. Okay, so we're going to do this one-off contract, which is going to end up at the coach house. So let's accept that now and accept it onto platform two. So it arrives at platform two. Okay, it's not far off. We need to uh, uh, maybe 45 seconds before the train wants to be at the platform is when we'll accept it for. So this one's going to be slightly different to all the others when it finally gets to where it needs to be we'll put it through to platform three like the others but when it's finished at platform three we're actually going to direct it to the coach house instead of back down the line because that's where it wants it's finished its journey now it's, it's finished its journey in the middle of the map 39 percent isn't great but i'll take it because when you dispatch a contract from the coach house you get your red experience and that's what we're after right so we have a little bit of a gap in the timetable coming up at 1440 so if we want to do another contract then that'll be a good time to do it try and keep this running smoothly i think a smooth continuous operation is very important at the beginning but let's see what we got uh, not interested in either of those thank you very much I am interested in knowing about new contracts there we go now from now on we need to be careful because not every contract will be going to and from some of them will be going to the coach house but we're doing okay at the moment no wait don't approve that there's a train sat in the platform don't approve that yet now the platform is free we can 
allow it to come through. So we've got five new contracts. Let's check them out. Ah, perfect. We'll come back to that in a second. Intercity, not right now. Uh, Motherwell. Where's that? Oh, it's all the way over here. We're not doing that yet. We could buy the platforms at Newton. I think that might be something nice to do towards the end of the episode, but we'll see about that. But not right now. A one-off freight, no thank you. Right, so we've got enough room here. So we've got two contracts of interest at the moment. One of them is a, another contract from Bridgeton to the coach yard. And one of them is from the coach yard. And you can see, in addition to getting one experience, uh, green experience, we get a red one, an advanced experience, which is what we really want. Now, it doesn't pay well. It only pays a grand. But I don't really care about the money at this point. It's the experience points we need. Uh, so we're just going to be looking for a space in the timetable. Yes, which we've got coming up at 1440. We'll have our second commuter train come out of there, and then we'll have a good look at the coach yard. In fact, it might be good to dispatch one from the coach yard at the same time. No, it wouldn't, because it needs to be earlier. It needs to be as soon as. As soon as that platform's free, it needs to come out. Okay, maybe we can do this. It's going to be close. So... Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to do it just yet. We'll we'll get the we'll get this one accepted, and we'll accept it onto platform two right away. We might have to find a different spot in the schedule to bring the other contract back. So I'm just a bit nervous about getting it fitted in. Right. So that's not a too bad a slot on the timetable. This is going to be a little bit close. Oh, hang on a second. It's not going to be close because this one has finished its contract now and we need to send it to the coach yard. There we go. And that's 46%, so that's not too bad. This train will be out of the way just in... almost in time. Okay... And now we're rolling around again. So we need to look at an opportunity to bring this these trains out, out the coach yard. It's going to be difficult to fit that in to the timetable here. We've got quite a rigid timetable. But I think I'm seeing a gap because we've got one more train to come out of platform two. And it should be arriving now. Um... But then there's a gap, and I think we'll fill that gap. So we'll let's set that contract at just the right time to do it. So as soon as Platform 3 is available, we're going to do it. Okay? So as soon as Platform 3 is available, let's just check the contracts. No, that's a rubbish one. Uh, we're not interested in that right now. Not interested in that right now. We've got two to choose from. No, we haven't. Uh, we'll keep that one actually because I think we're double unbalanced yes we're double unbalanced okay no we don't want that one silly me right so as soon as platform 3 is available here this is when we're going to accept this contract and get this train rolling now accept and we accept from the coach yard from coach yard Yep, yeah, and off it goes. There we go. It comes into the coach yard, automatically turns around, and we can send it out. And we will get some red experience for that. The only problem is, is it did come out of there a bit quick. Wasn't really expecting it to come out of there so fast. We needed to leave a bit of a bigger gap. But its timetable's not too bad. 43%. We're not getting a lot of money, but we did get some of that advanced experience. So what we need now is a second one of these, which it's given us. Fantastic. Okay, so again, I need to look for a, a gap in the timetable. Uh, 
we'll keep these temporary freights now because I'm looking for a gap. Oh, we've got loads of trains coming in now on platform three. It's too bad we can't get the coach house hooked up to platform two for like the other. It's a bit of a mess, really. But we're, we're kind of just making do. We're making do. It'll be fine. So we've got a little way in the timetable to wait until we've actually got a proper gap. Um, but I, I can kind of see a gap that's coming up. I think it's after this train, but... Oh, this is risky. We've got a train that's going to terminate it there. I, I don't think I want to send it in straight afterwards. There's, there's just not enough room. Oh my goodness, we've got so many offered contracts here. Uh, Intercity, no. Intercity, no. Not yet. We'll get onto them next time, maybe. Uh, it's this one. It's this one that I'm having trouble finding a gap in the timetable for. This station is just so busy. I think we might send it straight after this train. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Is there room? Oh, I don't know if there's room. Should we squeeze it in anyway? It would be quite bad. No, I'm not going to squeeze it in because we're going to end up with really bad ratings and we don't want penalties happening all the time. Because when a train is late, you get really bad penalties for it. Or you can get really bad penalties, depending on the contracts. So we'll just wait until there's a gap in the timetable. And there is a gap in the timetable. Um, so we'll, we'll try and fit it in then. Although having said that, the receiving platform, platform 1, is really really busy there oh it looks like there might be a gap okay cool let's do this then let's get all these trains dispatched to where they need to be there we go I think we I think we can just push this through doing it like this will make a lot quite a bit of money as well just need to check to make sure that none of these trains actually need to go to the coach house. See, this one's going to the coach house. It's a good job I checked. And we're not at the gap yet. We're getting close to the gap. Come on, go to the coach house. Get out of the way. Cool. This one's not going to the coach house, it's going down here. Oh my goodness. I'm going as fast as I can to try and get through to this gap, and we do have an opportunity to send a new train out, but it's going to be quite close as whether we can fit it in the returning platform one. Here we go, this is, this is it, this is the opportunity now, after this train. But like right before that other oh here we go we've actually got a train that wants to come out okay uh, that's why the station's so busy at that time there's no room to put it back anywhere Oh, come on, that was barely an occupied uh, segment. We're doing really well on the money. Was that a bad platform, did it say? How strange. Well, we're coming up with a gap on platform one, so we'll sort that out so that we get this train out. There's bound to be a way that we can do this soon. That 
platform three is just so busy. But we're getting close to that gap on platform one now, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. It's probably not... Where's it gone? Have I not... Oh, is, is it at the bottom here? There it is. So I think we're on balance still, so let's accept this now. Oh dear, this this is going to be... This is going to be a bit busy, a, a bit bad, but... Hopefully we can make it better. Not too many delays. Six hundred for a delay there. That could have been worse. This is the biggest delay here. Forty-one percent. That's not too bad. And we're getting more advanced experience. Brilliant. Okay, so our line is so saturated now, it is a little bit ridiculous. But what we can do is now we've got some really cool contracts. We can reject the ones that are in the way. So if I'm running uh, a section of trains and there's one that's in the way, we'll just get rid of the one that's in the way. Oh, what's happening here? Click the wrong signal. Oopsie. Slight delay there, but that's not a problem. I think one of these trains ends up... Oh my goodness. I need more automation. It's alright. The adv the advanced experience is going to help us out here. We're going to be able to unlock something, I'm sure of it. Okay, so at the moment, as long as I'm keeping up with the clicking, we're alright. I think... That one's going to the coach yard, so there we go. That train barely has to wait, so I'm happy about that one. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is, this is click mania. This is crazy. We definitely need to do some unlocks to avoid the clicks. But overall, this, this is running smooth. Money is amazing. We're going to be able to afford a really nice big upgrade next time. And here's the other one wanting to come out of the coach yard. You know what? I know I've been worried about like where things are going in the timetable and that. But overall, it's... No! We nearly had a train crash. We nearly had a train crash there. So this train is uh, waiting is not too bad. There we go, we've got our experience. We can probably unlock something now. Get some more automation on this. These two trains are a bit too close together, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's... Let's take a moment here and just have a look at the unlocks we can almost afford something surely so we can afford command chain which would be nice but we can afford route queuing oh yes that is brilliant so we can do perpetual routes and route queuing we're having that we are having that if we have that and then upgrade this signal here we can make this one a perpetual signal. So if I do control click on that, I can do uh, route to this platform perpetually. Like over and over again. Oh, I lost it. Okay, let's try again. There we go. So that will just route to that platform whenever it can, over and over and over again. That's one less thing for me to do. Did you see that? Oh, we've God, this this train's got to wait. This commuter train's getting in the way, but unfortunately, it's one that needs to use the platform. Why are you flashing at me? Are 
you flashing at me because the you need a commuter train but we haven't got one that's really bad is that that's a 3000 delay that's much more than what the it's actually worth also this one here that can become an auto signal all right it's occupied let's turn it off for a second that can become an auto signal and then we can put a repeating order on that so trains just get routed to there all the time we can just concentrate on this end of the network yeah that's a big delay for that train oh dear I wonder can I move that coach yard back a bit I can't and I can't put it in another platform either what if I'm just thinking, what if I just put it like on the other end of platform two? So all the coach yard stuff just goes into, out, and then back again? Does that seem like a good idea to you? I don't know if it does. I mean, we could do it on platform four. Like this. We don't need this track here anymore. It's an occupied segment, so we're just going to have to temporarily get rid of that. Yeah, because we got rid of all the um, trains that are going to Easter House because I got annoyed with them on the timetable. But in theory, that should work. All we've got to do is change the platform which those trains use to get them in and out of that coach house and then we should be able to do it without too much worry about getting in the way of other trains let's get this perpetual routing on there and uh, is there an unlock for that for changing the platform Con contracts platform adjustment yes and we can afford it yes right okay so we just have to do a platform adjustment when we see an appropriate ch train and hopefully we can make loads of money out of this now the next thing I'd really like is probably the routing sensor okay so we don't need to adjust the timetable on that train Really, I only have to do these two signals now. The rest all takes care of itself. We just need to make sure... Oh, this is smooth. This is better. You see why I've disconnected Easter House, though? We've just got a much more simple loop going on now. Oh, no. That was one of the trains that needed to go back... Uh, hang on that needs to go into the coach house I've done this on open TTD before but I don't think I can do it here oh no maybe Oh, this is going to break everything. There we go. Right. Platform four. Go. Um, that's it. Round through to the coach house. And in future, I want you to go to platform four, please. Oh, is it platform four? Yep. There we go. 
Right, it's out of the way. Oh, what a, what a mess. Okay. Fixed it. Let's get that signal back in. And approve that train to go through. What? I have to do that? Okay, yeah. Well, at least it got there. And then this one... We're going to have a backlog of trains now with bad orders. You see how we get the route queuing on there, though? Did I say bad orders? I didn't mean bad orders. I just meant, like... Uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Uh, delayed. We're going to have a, a batch of trains which are delayed now. But we should be able to, like, improve that and sort it out, so... Just need to check these trains to make sure that they're not the ones that need to go to the coach house. We could do with the auto dispatching centres and stuff like that as well. Here we go. Right, so we've got a train that needs to come out of here. And we're going to adjust the timetable to platform 4. Now it's okay. We can say, uh, from coach yard, go. Come straight into platform 4. I'm going to let it go manually, but ideally I need an auto signal on the end there so I don't have to mess around with that. And also, it'd be a good idea to have an auto signal on the end of this platform, and then we can do a perpetual order to go into the coach yard. Cool. I think we've we've made an improvement here. So we got all the commuter trains that don't go to the coach yard going one way and all the commuter trains that do go to the coach yard going another. And this flow of trains as well without that extra bit of track up there is just working a bit better now. Oh, hang on a second. This next train we want to adjust the timetable. Platform 4. You are going to the coach yard. And this is the difficult bit. We've got one waiting to come out of the coach yard. Which is a nightmare. So this train, this is the one that's always going to be late. Uh, let's have a look at the contract. Do we... We have to do another three trains before we're allowed to reject it. But you know what? The rejection cost is only 1500 and it's going to charge us like three grand every time it's late. Let's decline that contract and we'll get a new contract for coming out the coach house. So, no, no, uh, nope, nope, and nope. <laughs> Just nopes all around. Uh, what we could do is buy Platform 2 and connect up to Easter House and also get that hooked in a, a little bit better. Um, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, th this is definitely better. I think if I was thinking about it... Yeah, you know what? This works. This works. No problem with this. This works fine. This is quite good. It would be good to have the dispatching sensors and stuff, but if we look at the automation on that, they cost five red experience each. They're probably the next ones I want to get. But I am doing less clicks now. Definitely doing less clicks. We just want that contract to just complete everything off. There it is. There's that contract. Okay, so when are we going to do it? We have to do it when there's a space at platform one of Bridgeton, which is actually after this commuter train has pulled in. We can just about fit it in there. Because this commuter train is actually heading for platform four. So let's do it right now, right this very moment. Track occupied. Oh, okay, so I've got to do... I can't do uh, an automatic signal there. I'll have to move the coach yard back. 
and put a signal facing the other way. But okay. So the idea is is that these this train wants to go in this car in the coach yard. This one wants to come out, but we should be able to get it out without the train waiting for too long. It's going to wait for a short amount of time. And then yeah, you can go to the coach yard. Then we get a train ready for the next one. Okay. Yes. So we now have the coach yard working where we've got one contract going in the coach yard, one contract going out of the coach yard, and we've got some automation with some procedural routes. And we've also got route que queuing as well. So I can queue this like that, ready for the next train. Uh, so we've got an order there that as soon as it's ready to roll, it will switch. Boop. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Um, with this little network, it won't be long until we're ready to start getting things rolling a little bit more. And I think what we'll do is we'll get another commute service slipped into the con. Actually, now's a perfect time to get another train into Platform 4. And we've been offered it. So I'm going to take it. We're going to come straight from Platform 2. Because uh, this one's going into the coach. Ah, what's going on here? Oh no, we've got one coming out the coach yard right now. Ooh, it's going to have to wait a second. We didn't have to wait too long. And it, it did okay. It did okay. So now we're unbalanced again. So at the coach yard, we've got uh, one extra commuter than what we need. And if we have a look at the contracts, the active contracts, um, we can see... Hmm, let's see what we've got here. How can we look at the ones that go to and from the coach yard? I mean... We can see that we've got one here that comes out the coach yard, and we've got a second one there that comes out the coach yard. That's two that come out of the coach yard. Now, but what about ones that are going into the coach yard? Oh, I can see them here. There, we've got three going into the coach yard, so we can actually accept another one coming out. Okay, so let's do that before the end of the episode quickly. So let's see what we've got here. Freight? No. Wrong direction. No platforms, no platform. No, right, okay. So we do actually need um, a new contract to come through which would allow us to do that. These two are really close to each other, but it, it goes quite smoothly, actually. Come on, new contract. We want the, the right contract in the right direction, please. Wow, we just got loads, and <laughs> wow, <laughs> I got offered three. Um, I think we're going to take the three grand one. And we're just going to do it after this train comes through. So we've got one that's, one that's coming in, and we'll be going into the coach yard. And there's actually a small gap in the contracts here, so we can actually get, as soon as that goes there... We can then, from Coach Yard on, onto Platform 4, and get that out of the way. These two should swap over quite nicely. Oh, look at this. That's it. Red Experience going all over now. We've got three contracts coming out of that Coach Yard. We just have to be careful about where I'm sending stuff all the time, so... And I need to remember I can queue these routes, but I we're going to have to get the, the new sensors. Uh, we're going to have to unlock the departure sensor and the arrival sensor. Um, and what we'll do is we'll unlock them next time with all the experience that we've gained, because we've got loads. Um, and we're going to have even more experience piling in, and we'll start expanding the network. So next time, not only we're going to unlock two more automation items... 
but we're also going to start expanding to a new station and with 155 grand I think we've got enough money to do that oh please don't tell me that's going to the coach yard oh it is it's gonna have to wait there we go cool well um the network is tiny but it's really efficient especially at getting us um, the experience we need to be able to get the automation to expand the network but that is going to be all for now I really hope you're enjoying this series if you are and you want to know more about how to play the game I do have a tutorial series you can that check that out on my YouTube channel and if you want to know more about me including links to my discord or finding out about my game giveaways and all that sort of stuff you can go to my website masterhellish.net and that will give you links to all my social media and of course that important discord but I'll see you soon thanks for watching and for now take care Goodbye.